Hey gorgeous, I just thought I'd hop on here and kind of get you started with mascara beauty. So I'm gonna walk you through a color match, how to put your kit together once it arrives, and how to build your palette online if you are interested in starting with this wonderful makeup. I just want to show you really quickly, this is what our boxes look like when they arrive. They're absolutely gorgeous. I actually think I'm gonna cut this out soon and put it here in my studio um, to use it as decoration because I think every single part of Mascara Beauty, we do not miss a detail. So when your makeup arrives, it's gonna come beautifully packaged in this sort of packaging. Each little makeup is gonna come in its own little tin, like so, with these cute little covers. And you're going to be able to take them out and build your palette and put your palette together any way you need. And if you just wanna get a lip and cheek, it's super easy just to take it on the go in one of these little things. So if you wanna be color matched, I'm gonna walk you through that. And I'm also gonna walk you through a really quick application. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and use it as a reference anytime you get your makeup in. This is going to be a perfect video to come back to. It's a good intro and it's gonna be a good one to come back just to reintroduce you to the quick and easy process of our amazing Triple D foundation. All right, first things first, when you go to take your picture for the color match, make sure you're standing about an arm's length away from an open window, not in direct bright sunlight. Take a few pictures, make sure I can see your neck, turn to the side so I can see the side of your face, and sometimes it helps if you hold your arm up so I can really get an idea of your skin tone. So once you send me your selfie, makeup free, um, you can have eye makeup on if you want, but um, we would prefer all makeup free so that we can see all the different colors in your face. Please make sure I can see some of your chest and sometimes it's helpful to um, add your arm across just to make sure that we match, we are taking the time to match all your skin tones together. Once you are color matched, I'm going to send you an email with all of the colors that we have chosen perfectly for your skin tone. Don't worry, when you send me a selfie, the only people who get that selfie is my, group, my beauty group. And all we do is look at your skin tone and together we find the best colors that are gonna bring out your features. This is 3D foundation, it's not to cover you up, it's to bring out your features. So an original starter kit is gonna come. This is your quad compact. It fits four singles or eight, or eight eyeshadows, okay? Like I said, you're going to, um, I'm gonna suggest two highlights. So a lighter brightening highlight and then a darker highlight. Each color comes in these little magnetic tins like this and you slide it off and it just slides perfectly into your compact. When I color match you, I usually send you two brush suggestions to start with. I always recommend everybody starts with the detail hack and the blush and bronzer. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you all about application. Here you can see the website and this is how you build your palette. You can click on any one of these, the quad, the hack stack, the mini double decker, or the double decker, and you can see how many you need to purchase to get the free tin. Once you click on, click on the compact that you like, you go down and you build the compact with the highlights and the contours that I've suggested. Here I'm building the compact that I'm going to use in this video, which is white peach, sandy, and then I'm gonna move down, snatch indigo from the contour, Add that to the compact as well. And then I'm gonna finish with the Lip and Cheek Sandstone. Here you will see add items to the bag. I'm gonna scroll up. I take a quick screenshot of this so I can keep it to show you. And then you add it to the bag. And here you will see, I'm gonna show you the two brushes that I always use to get started. And this is a blush and bronzer brush. And I'm gonna start with that brighter highlight and just very gently stipple it onto my skin. The beauty of this makeup is you barely need any and it just feels like your skin. You're not gonna feel like you have heavy, heavy layers of makeup on your face. And now I'm taking the detail hack and the color called indigo, which is a contour color, and just framing my face. It's cream-based makeup, so it'll go where you move it. So don't be alarmed or upset if you get it too far because you can always fix it. This, I just learned this new trick. When you put your contour on, put it on with the small end of the detail hack and then blend with the bigger end 
And that way you can take some leftover highlight to get rid of any of the spots where you went a little too far with your contour. Okay, once I've blended it, I take whatever's left in my brush and kind of just do like a quick coat on my, the top of my eyelids. Now I'm gonna take my main highlight and just literally dab it in anywhere where I don't really see um, too much makeup. This is how I'm really gonna get that good blend. And the one thing that I highly recommend is when you're using your darker contour, or excuse me, your darker highlight to go in and blend it down through your neck. Now here I'm dabbing sandstone in and you can see how dark that color is and how it could be intimidating, but watch it blend. Okay. That was just your basic hack, your basic four colors that you're originally going to get matched with. I'm usually going to suggest two highlights and a contour, and then I list a bunch of lip and cheeks that I might um, think, or that I think will look good on you or might look good on you, but definitely it's personal preference. Don't be alarmed though, as you can see that sandstone, which is the color that I use on my cheeks, it looks very bright and pigmented, like right when you first put it on, but once it's blended, it's absolutely gorgeous. So now I'm gonna show you just a few extras so that you can check a few more things out if you wanna add to your palette. So I'm gonna show you the palette that I work with on a daily basis and it's right here. This is one of our triple decker palettes, okay? On the top, I keep my contours and my highlights on top, okay? So I have some lighter highlights and some darker contours and then over here is my Bella bronzer. I'm gonna show you the absolute most wonderful thing about this bronzer. Okay, uh, well, a lot of us put it in what we call a brick and we put them right next to each other and we take the bigger end of the blush and bronzer and we're just gonna go lightly and put it just a little bit over, right on top of that contour line, a little bit on our forehead, down here, and then just blend it into our neck, just a teeny tiny bit with cream, like I said before you don't need a lot and it works wonderfully you don't need to coat this stuff on okay another extra we do have illuminators so this is amazing this is powder we also have green cream based illuminators and i'm going to use this brush here it's the power powder and i'm going to take this illuminator and an illuminator just goes in and kind of highlights it really helps work with that 3d foundation look it just highlights certain points of your face and draws the light to those points. Okay, so the tops of our cheeks, the tip of our nose, right here above your lip, the cupid's bow, just a teeny tiny bit. And then some people put it up here on the brow line. Okay, and then we also have shadows. Uh, these, this is my palette, so it's not as cute as, um, a good like advertising palette should be but I just wanted to show you these are a bunch of my colors that I have working and then I also have this double decker here with more colors in it okay when you put your palette together I highly recommend you look at getting either a double decker or um, this is a hack stack and we also have a mini hack stack which holds um, eight. This one holds 12 singles, the other one holds eight singles. You get a free compact for every four, six, eight, 12, and so on amount of singles, you'll get a free compact with your order, which is the best because how many times do you order stuff and get something to carry it in? That's this small and compact. Okay, uh, let's talk about organization. So when you're putting your colors in, I like to keep my shadows on the bottom with my cream or excuse me, with my powder illuminator. And then in the middle, I put my lip and cheeks and some cream illuminator. And then like I said, on top, 
bronzers, contours, and highlights. You can obviously organize it however you like, but I highly recommend if you do end up getting the powders and creams to keep them separate because some of the powder can um, break off just like normal just because of the substance that it's made. It's just powder and you don't want the powder getting into your cream makeup. So let's talk about something that's kind of fun about mascara is your first purchase is going to be your probably your most expensive purchase and then from then on everything is free shipping and you only pay for what you need. So let's say you run out of your highlight like I am over here. All you need to do is pop that bad Larry out like this. It's magnetic. You can um, either melt this and kind of get the rest of it off and pour it into another tin, whatever you want to do. Um, but then you just order a new shade. These last about every two to four months. Contour is about four to six months. Lip and cheeks for almost a year. Same with illuminators and shadows for as, for as long as um, you use them. But I bet they're at least going to last you six months. So initially it's a huge, not a huge investment, but it's a bigger investment. And then it's 14 to $16 each time you want to replace one of these guys and always free shipping. Okay, the irony of this company is it's called Mascara. It's not mascara. So you just use whatever one is your favorite. Here I'm using blue because I think it's just super fun. Last but not least, you're going to need to set this makeup with a silicone free powder or spray. I'm using our Stay Spray. This is our old packaging and our Perfector sponge to put it on. And that's it. 